Hi all, welcome back. My name is Praveen Balan. Today in continuation with the previous video, we are going to talk about Intune enrollment setup and specifically for Android enrollment. So basically people can use their personal Android devices and enroll the Android devices into Intune so that they can use the work application. So we will be going through three step procedure today. One, link your Intune to manage to play Google account. And secondly, add the required application from the Play Store to the work applications. And third, create a conditional access policy so that we will force the end user to register their device in order to access the cloud applications. So before we jump into the video, there are few assumptions that I need to make, which are you already onboarded your domain. You already set the required DNS for the device enrollment and the registration. And third, you have set Intune as the MDM authority for your Office 365 tenant. If you have not finished any of this, please follow the previous videos and the link for those videos are already given in the description and also coming as a suggestion. And if you like such videos, do not forget to subscribe the channel. Also click on the reminder button so that you get notified on the new videos when I release them. As you can rightly see on the screen, once we connect the Android device so once we enroll the Android device they will have work and personal applications segregated on their device so with that not in mind let's jump into the video and see how can we configure our office 365 tenant for Android enrollment from the endpoint manager admin center so as I mentioned earlier there are three main steps that we need to complete and we will start with linking your managed play account with Microsoft Endpoint Manager or Intune. You should never use an account which is used for any other purpose. So, and I have created one and I'm going to use that one. So please, if you have not created an account for configuring it in Intune, go ahead and create one before you start this activity. Navigate over to the devices and then under the devices, go to Android and click on Android enrollment and then click on managed Google Play and it will initiate the process and it will start the wizard for connecting your managed play store account click on agree and then follow the procedure use the specific account that you have created for intune registration or intune managed play store click on get started and follow the wizard to complete the linking process Now the linking process is complete and you are good to enroll the devices but there are a couple more steps that we need to finish before we can start the enrollment process. Please note that there is there are no additional steps that you, that you need to complete under the Android enrollment for the personally owned devices. Now we have linked the account but we haven't added the application for the work profile. If you have not added any application, it will only have these four applications available to be assigned to the end users. So, but that's not enough for a work profile to work. We need to have many other cloud applications such as Outlook, Edge, um, maybe OneDrive, Teams and so forth. So in this video, I'm only adding Edge and Microsoft Outlook just to show you how you can add it. Click on the Edge and click on Approve. Only the approved applications will be available for the end user to install on their work profile. I have approved now the Edge. I'm going to approve the Outlook application as well. So once we approve these applications, the next step that we need to do is like we need to synchronize this. If we don't synchronize the application which are approved, that will not come under the apps, Android apps listing. So you have to go back to the managed Google Play app and then click on sync in order to initiate the sync. It happens on a regular interval, but to get it soon, you click on sync and you will have them available in the Android app section. And now we have these apps available for assignment. We haven't assigned it. If you look at the assigned section, it will you can see that it is all set to no. So we need to start assigning this application to set of uses. Before you can assign the application to users, you have to create 
groups you can only assign these applications to group you cannot assign it to individual users so let's go back and create a group in Azure Active Directory I have a group created already which is called Intune MEM BYOD users so I will be using that group for all this video so if you don't have a group which is created go ahead and create one because I always recommend to start with the pilot uses so that you know how it will react in your infrastructure so I'm going to assign it this to the MEM group and I'm going to assign other applications which are required for my work profile so I'll be assigning or I will be assigning all other five applications which are listed here with the same step So now we have completed two steps, two configurations, one linking your managed Google Play account and the second one we added the applications and assigned the groups to which these applications will be installed or available for installation on their work profile. This is good enough for you to enroll the devices but it will not force the end user to enroll the devices. You know they if they download the Intune company portal application on the Android device and start logging in with the work account they will be able to manually start the enrollment process and they will get all these applications but we know that the people will not do it unless it is force them to initiate the enrollment process so for which we need to create the conditional access policy i will not be discussing more in detail about conditional access today but we will create a basic conditional access policy which says any user in this particular group need to access the cloud application such as Outlook, Teams, OneDrive or any related services must have a compliant devices. So to have a compliant devices, they need to enroll their devices. So in an indirect way, we are forcing the end user to enroll their device before they can access any application. So let's go ahead and create the conditional access policy. Please note. When you create a conditional access policy, scope it to a test pilot group before you are sure that the conditional access policy is not stopping your work. So under devices, go to conditional access, name it according to your requirement. I'm going to name it as a basic policy and I will be assigning this to a group of users, the test group of users that we created and you can create a group and assign pilot set of users before you apply the same conditional access for all other parties. So under cloud, cloud apps and actions, I'm going to choose Office 365 application, which covers most of this cloud application, whatever we discussed a while ago. And under conditions, this policy will be only applicable for iOS and Android and any type of application access will be requiring this condition to be met and only grant if a user has a compliant device so if they if the user is coming with ios or android device without enrolling their device they cannot access the cloud application that's the whole conditional access so now let us enable the policy and then do a verification to verify the policy you can go to the section what if so choose a user account which is part of the pilot group and then select the platform device platform and click on what if so that it will show you if there is any conditions that needs to be matched in order for the people to access any cloud application so for android and ios it is returning the policy that we created so we are good to proceed further with the enrollment process the final stage the enrollment of devices i'm going to enroll a samsung device and it will be it will be almost the same for any android devices but the look and feel at the end of the enrollment might be slightly different so with that note let's download the intune company portal application from play store and log into it with your work username and password and it will now forcefully ask you to enroll the devices if you have not created the conditional access policy after you log in it will say that everything is okay but in this case now this will start the enrollment process proceed with the wizard and complete the enrollment process and once the enrollment process is over you will start seeing two different sections two different set of application one is your personal application which is currently there and the other one is work application that we have assigned from the intune company portal 
in many android device you will see personal and work application some android device you will see all application together but the work application will have the briefcase symbol on it so that's how you can differentiate between work and personal applications now if we navigate back to the endpoint manager admin center you will be able to see the newly enrolled devices listed there but please note that this might take a while about like 10 minutes you can do some of the basic operations again as the intune again as the devices which are enrolled like you know you can synchronize the policies you can remote lock you can reset passcode you have an option to send messages and so forth i hope you enjoyed this video if then please do not forget to like it share it subscribe to the channel click on the reminder button so that you get notified on the similar videos in the future and having said this is time for us to wind up i'll be back with another video very soon till then this is praveen balan signing off bye